Hello, and welcome to A Short Word with Pastor Paul. Solomon 6.3, I am my beloved and he is mine. You know, when I was younger, growing up, uh, growing up in Sunday school, I remember learning that we were supposed to give. We needed to give to God. We needed to give him our offerings. We needed to give him our tithes. We needed to give him our hearts. And it seemed like we had to give God everything. And as a child, I didn't really understand. I mean, first of all, why? Why do I have to give? Because, I mean, God gave us everything, and now he wants it back. Uh, and, and another reason was, you know, if I give God everything, what will I have left? What about me? Now, th those were two questions as I had growing up uh, while learning how to give to God. And I was a bit reluctant at first, but I thought, fine, if God wants everything, I'll give him everything. And slowly I began to give. It began with offering. You know, every Sunday my mom would give me a dollar, and I'd put that dollar in an envelope, and I would put it in the offering basket as it went by. Uh, that was easy. And then came junior high, and I started receiving an allowance. Uh, I had never had money of my own before, but now this money was so precious to me because I'd never had money before. And 10% seemed like so much. Especially since out of the allowance money, I was supposed to take care of my own lunch at school. I had to buy school lunch, and at that time, what was more important for me was after school, the ice cream truck was waiting right by my school, and I, I needed to buy ice cream after school. Um, that was probably more important than lunch for me at the time. Um, and it was really hard in the beginning. It was really hard to give, uh, but I gave. And I continued to give. And as I got older, I continued to give. Um, and it wasn't just money, it was also my time and my effort. I gave him my life. And guess what? Even though I gave him my life, I'm still here. Uh, and I'm doing okay. Because the thing is, just because we give God everything doesn't mean he's going to take everything away. And even if he does, I have a question. Have you ever outgiven God? I mean, like, have you ever given God more than He's given you? Because we serve a good God, a loving God. When we give to God, He's not going to go, you know, what else are you going to give me? You know, keep giving. No, He says, uh, no, he's, he's pleased with our offering. He wants to reward us. He wants to love on us. He wants to lavish on us. And so that question again, have you ever outgiven God? The answer is probably no, and this verse reminds us of that. I am my beloved's and he is mine. I give God me, and he gives me him. I give God me, I'm just regular old me, and he gives me him, the creator of the universe, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, Prince of peace, all of that. He gives me him. Now in that situation, who's benefiting? Who is at an advantage? Now, if we understand that, why are we still trying to give God the minimum? Why are we still calculating and hesitating before we give to God? Because we can never outgive God. God wants us. He wants all of us. He wants us to give Him everything, and He's not going to necessarily take everything away. But even if He does, He gives us Him. Let us not be afraid to be His because he will also be mine. Thank you. See you next time.